These gosh the nurse. Language analysis complete. Is this working? We were on a science mission inside the nebula. Our ship suffered a critical malfunction. In Star Trek, the Star Wars saga, and virtually all other science fiction films, remarkably, all the aliens speak perfect English. This is because there is something called the Universal Translator that allows Earthlings to communicate instantly with any alien civilization, removing the inconvenience of tediously using sign language and primitive gestures to communicate with an alien. Although once considered to be unrealistically futuristic, versions of the Universal Translator already exist. This means that in the future, if you are a tourist in a foreign country and talk to the locals, you will see subtitles in your contact lens, as if you were watching a foreign language movie. You can also have your computer create an audio translation that is fed into your ears. This means that it may be possible to have two people carry on a conversation, with each speaking in their own language, while hearing the translation in their ears, if both have the universal translator. The translation won't be perfect, since there are always problems with idioms, slang, and colorful expressions, but it will be good enough so you will understand the gist of what that person is saying. There are several ways in which scientists are making this a reality. The first is to create a machine that can convert the spoken word into writing. In the mid-1990s, the first commercially available speech recognition machines hit the market. They could recognize up to 40,000 words with 95% accuracy. Since a typical, everyday conversation uses only 500 to 1,000 words, these machines are more than adequate. Once the transcription of the human voice is accomplished, then each word is translated into another language via a computer dictionary. Then comes the hard part, putting the words into context, adding slang, colloquial expressions, etc., all of which require a sophisticated understanding of the nuances of the language. The field is called CAT, Computer Assisted Translation. Another way is being pioneered at Carnegie Mellon University in Pittsburgh. Scientists there already have prototypes that can translate Chinese into English, and English into Spanish or German. They attach electrodes to the neck and face of the speaker, these pick up the contraction of the muscles and decipher the words being spoken. Their work does not require any audio equipment, since the words can be mouthed silently. Then a computer translates these words and a voice synthesizer speaks them out loud. Good morning, madam. In simple conversations involving 100 to 200 words, they have attained 80% accuracy. The idea is that you can mouth words in English and they will come out in Chinese or another language, says Tanya Schultz, one of the researchers. In the future, it might be possible for a computer to lip-read the person you are talking to, so the electrodes are not necessary. So, in principle, it is possible to have two people having a lively conversation, although they speak in two different languages. In the future, language barriers, which once tragically prevented cultures from understanding one another, may gradually fall with this universal translator and internet contact lens or glasses. Although augmented reality opens up an entirely new world, there are limitations. The problem will not be one of hardware, nor is bandwidth the limiting factor, since there is no limit to the amount of information that can be carried by fiber optic cables. The real bottleneck is software. Creating software can be done only the old-fashioned way. A human, sitting quietly in a chair with a pencil, paper, and laptop, is going to have to write the codes, line for line, that make these imaginary worlds come to life. One can mass-produce hardware and increase its power by piling on more and more chips, but you cannot mass-produce the brain. This means that the introduction of a truly augmented world will take decades, until mid-century. I want to use this moment to briefly inform you about Digital Butterfly. This channel is an independent project of a group of people with love for science and technology. Our researches contain useful information from popular books and articles by well-known scientists and engineers. 
Our goal is to inform you about how the future is going to look like and give you the idea and familiarity with the technology and lifestyle we are going to face ourselves in the future. Naturally, when speaking about the future, not everything might be 100% correct so always receive this with a pinch of salt. If you find these videos to be interesting and useful, do not hesitate to use your power to support this project by subscribing to our channel and liking our videos. Get ready to travel back in time. In our next video on Digital Butterfly, we're diving into the science behind Jurassic Park and exploring the real possibilities of resurrecting dinosaurs. Could cutting-edge genetics and cloning bring these prehistoric giants back to life? Stay tuned to find out, this is one journey you won't want to miss.